Hello. Every week we gather to draw while we listen to a conversation, to a video, a music, a poem. We listen with open mind, open heart, open will. Then we look at each other's drawings without any judgment and we mirror it. We say what we see, what we feel, and what we sense when looking at the drawing. We call this practice generative scribing. Inspired by social artist and generative scribe Kelvin Bird. Nevertheless, recently we realized we are doing something different. Still inspired by Kelvin, still based on theory U, but with some freshness in it. Today we invite you to come with us and practice with us in this 30 minutes journey. Come on, try it. Okay, today I want you to get on the magic carpet and come with me to what it's like to be a parent and a kid in Japan. So in Japan, and then the elementary school is from uh, first grade to sixth grade. And then when you start your first grade, you go buy or get the present from someone that, you know, the, the backpack we all we all use it started in 1877 so it's been going wrong way for the girls always get the red the boys always get the uh, black one and then so this is kind of like a coming to you it's kind of like, oh i'm gonna be a starting the elementary school it's like a huge big deal and you're gonna use this same thing for six years so this is gonna become a part of your life so this is very significant. But nowadays, now there's like, a, there's so many different kind of one, like a, so many different ones available now. And then I want you to see this uh, commercial and the, I, I turn the, you know, translation thing on, but some of them is not really clear. So it's only five minutes. So I'm gonna r run it through first, then I can explain more. ピンクが好きやからたぶんピンクを選ぶと思います。あんまり明るい色でなければ、ま、本人の自由に選べばいいかなっていうふうに思います。長いイメージで見て汚れが目立たなそうなベージュ選んでほしいなって思ってます。私
お父ちゃんこれが好きなえなぁと思ってたのパパはお母ちゃんこことか好きかなと思って<笑>確かに<笑>次は本当に自分が使いたいランドセルを選んでもらいます<笑>すごい喜んで<笑>一番欲しいのこれ。お早い早い。うん。あれ？ちょっとこれ。ちょいっす。気に入ったのつけてもらうのいいっすね。ゾンビかな。犬のゾンビ。ゾンビ。私が好き。青したこの青。ええー。すごい嬉しそう。ピンク色。あ、ピンク。かわいい。本人が嬉しそうにしてたもんね。まあ、ピンクもかわいいなと思います。こう背負っていくんかなと思ったちょっと胸が熱くなる感じが。なんかもうこんな大きくなったんやなっていうのを背負える年だったんやなって。うんうん、あ、ひらくん。かっこいいやん。かっこいいやん。なんだん。お。似<笑>合ってるやん。どう？ジップ乗ってる。まあそれはいいの。それはいいのよ。この時間。<笑>選ぶ<笑>自分で選ぶことおおすごいすごいやってるよ<笑>ミオンちゃん大好きだから色それは6年間大切に使うための最初の一歩「君が好きなの君が選ぼう」So, what they did was first, the, the, they told the kids to pick the one you think your parents want you to pick. And the parents didn't know. Then, parents got the note saying, you know, we first ask you, ask them to pick the one you want them to pick. Then, next, they picked the one they really want to get. Let me explain a little bit more. And at the beginning, one of the mom was saying,、uh, you know, any color will be fine as long as it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't get dirty, that, that the dirt doesn't show that much. And she's the one who picked the pink. The other one, first he picked the black one with the white,、uh, red line, and saying, that's the color daddy l i k e And how about this red one? That's for the mommy. And he's the one who picked the pink one. The another one who picked the pink first and said, Well, pink the color he, she, my mom likes, and I kind of like it too. But she's the one who picked, picked the blue one. And in Japan, you know, still in the red, and then, you know, that kind of color is a girl's color, black is a boy's color. Black, blue, boy's color. And that's the one they picked that they're going to be carrying for this coming six years. <laughs> Sorry, this is、so、I was with that for six years too. I still remember my red、uh, Tolando cell. But back then, I didn't have any choice. I, I didn't even have the concept of. <laughs> There's a way to picking the color. These kids have the choice, but also have the restriction from their parents. They already have that in there what they're supposed to pick versus what they want to pick. And it, there is a restriction from society also, because, for example, here in Brazil, Uh, parents will let their children choose their backpack. However,、mm. boys will never pick a 
a pink backpack because this is seen as a girl's color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this, the red, not the red, yeah, but the pink yeah. is definitely a girl's color. Yeah, yeah, it's still there, still there for sure. So it's kind of give me a hope and concern the boy who picked the pink that he not gonna be you know discouraged to carry that backpack with pride. You know, this is a oh. one I like. Won't he won't he be bullied for he six might, years? He might he oh might be. God. He might be, but he may not. Well, when what he, he I saw his dad was the oldest guy there. Yeah. Yeah, and I I, I didn't uh, quite understand his reaction. Do you think he it was okay for him for mm. his boy to get a, a pink one? Well, I could see kind of little bit of concern in his eyes, but still the openness tried to accept him as he is. Rieko, I'm curious what what's causing, and you don't have to answer just. It seems like this is a very um, touching thing for you. Yeah, because and I, uh, it's really reminds me of all those restrictions, you know, parents are putting on kids, you know, with or without knowing. And especially my mom was the one like uh, staying at home and she didn't really have the control financially. It's totally related on my dad. So like, and she kind of from, I, I took it as from her love, but I was forced to doing that, like a uh, religious things that I didn't really want to do at all. So it's kind of like, so like a control and obey type of dynamics. And then that's kind of that how the parents were like, I want you to pick the red one. I want you to pick that the, the one that doesn't get dirty. In that kind of way of that that the control part, it's really remind me how it how how I grew up. I I was taking it as a love. I didn't recognize that as the control and obey. And now I can see that. So I, I kind of want to see how my life changes because that filter came off me now. But I think your parents weren't seeing it as a control also. Oh, yeah, yes. I, uh, yeah. They were that's, seeing it as a, as a love also. Yes, that's why it was hard. <laughs> because I could see, feel that for sure. You know, that's why, that's why it was, well, because I'm kind of doing that. I was doing the same thing to my kids too. But, you know, the biggest ah uh, moment for me was that, you know, I didn't realize I was letting go the control you know i was relying on the other party to let me know they love me or th there's a connection i have to make sure i have to rely on them to tell me and show me that you know we are connected but it's not you know i can decide if we are connected or not you know because if i decide there's a connection there is a connection and i was always asking that mom or the other party, my you know, ex-boyfriends, like, no, you have to show me you love me. You have to, because I, but instead I could just say, well, I'm connected to, to you, that's it. Now I got the control back. As I go, well, I want to connect it with you. So I, it's up to you if you want to connect, accept that or not. But I decided I want to have a connection with you. That's it. You know, doesn't matter how you react, but my side, that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter the color of your backpack. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's share. Okay, if we can go first. I'll go first. Okay, so who you who who you want to have mirror you? Um, um, Mary Jo. Oh, I love it. Love it. Thinking on my beard. So what I see are big colors, 
that are there that are looming. Um, choice being the word in the building. Choose, pick your fave. And the child is there with colors that they can choose from. And what a great question. Are you free to pick? So the parents look very strong in their color. And then the past seems to be represented, or maybe not the past, but society's um, imprint is there with the lighter colors. Kind of maybe talking about the past, maybe talking about what society wants you to pick. And I see a heart underneath the, the question mark. I think it definitely shows. I definitely feel that that being torn between are you really sure you can pick the right one? Are you really free to pick? Or is it still is there still some constraints back there? Thank you for that, Daya. Yeah, no, not really. I think um I don't know if it shows up very well, but in the in the child, it's like I made the backpacks a kind of a pile taller than the mm. child and having that to make that decision uh, was quite daunting. Um, yeah, and behind and above that child with, is the school with mm. all those different tiny little dots representing the choices. Yeah, thank you. Rieko also put in there, I feel a storm going around, harsh environment. Mm -hmm. Margareta, I'll ask you to do mine. What do I see? I see two different, completely different sides. On the left side, I uh, see a kind of uh, black uh, black uh, thing. It looks like a box or like a prison. And uh, I don't really know where it's standing on. It's standing on something, on a perhaps on a little child. Yes, let me think. It's It can be the little child who has his uh, above on their, uh, on their shoulders. And it's uh, it looks very heavy, and uh, I really get a depressed feeling when I uh, I feel that, uh, as if I have to carry the load of uh, the uh, the parents' um, uh, vision uh, all my life. And there's also a, a way, you know, I, I, two stripes. It could be to carry on the way you go through school. Uh, you have to carry that weight. And on the rest, right side, it's completely different. It's uh, more, uh, more uh, play. It's more playful, and there are all kinds of colors, uh, all kinds of. Um, I don't know who you call this rucksacks or school things. You your bags, backpacks, uh, uh, all kinds of uh, uh, funny, uh, nice colors. And um, there's a cloud above it with in it like a rainbow. And this tells of this feels for me like, oh, there's so much to choose. There's so much to choose. And up there again is another cloud with a, a blick with a, a lightning through it. Um, and uh, which makes it, uh, uh, which shows to me the difficulties, difficulty in choosing. Shall I choose the right one which is a black, you know, not not a certain color now. It's just a, a, a black or white one. Or shall I choose that one in the cloud with the lightning, which I uh, get the feeling is the one, yeah, you they would like. Or yeah, that's the one they would like. But that can, you know, lightning can be happen in their life. Or do they choose the safe one, the one that uh, the parents like or the society likes? That's uh, mm -hmm. what I see. Very expressive, mm -hmm. Mary Jo. Thank you. Thank you. And you got it. So up here is that parent, like, challenging what they think they know. So thank you for that. So who are you going to pick to marry? Cecile. 
I see um, faces and faces coming out of these boxes. And I see like expression on these faces are happy, sad, suspicious, and maybe angry. And uh, those, those faces are very huge and um, quite, uh, I would say, maybe frightening ones. And they are on the top of the drawing. And I see two small, two small, maybe child, a child and yeah, two children, a red one and, and a green one going from one box that I suppose is the this backpack going from one color to another and I see that the the reaction of the of the um, big faces that I suppose are the parents they say oh my god and disaster and choice with a question mark so I feel like something like happiness when I see the, the children because they are running, there are colors there and they are like playing. But I see a worried, um, I, I sense a, a worried um, expression and sensation looking at the feelings of Yes, of sadness, of uh, some of them are, yeah, quite sad, uh, quite, quite sad and, and, um, and f mixed feelings, I would say. But the choice is the, and ah, yes, there is a, a, another small child here. The pink one. The pink one, yes. It's a more faded one, yes. And uh, I can see that uh, choice is the, yes, choice is the master world, word of the world. How to choose being a children and being an adult. Choice maybe is, a, can be, can have a different meaning. Thank you, Margareta. Oh, well, it, it's uh, exactly what uh, what you said. And uh, for me, it's important that the, the parents are big and above. Mm. Uh, and and uh, the children are dancing and uh, exploring the choice and, you know, knowing exactly this is what my parents like and this is not. Can I make it? Can I not make it? Mm. Um, Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, thank you. Okay, this is mine and I pick um, Rebecca. Yeah, so I see parents, child in the center, and they're standing on a love line. And there's love going out to the parent, like the arms of the child is looking for its parents. I see a lot of dots inside uh, the, the clothes of each parent, maybe their ideas, ideals, and then the child, all of the dotted energies going out towards them and up to the sky. And there are these much bigger social kind of forces and energies around them of various colors and qualities and they're kind of soft so there's kind of a background softness and these red lines uh, going through all of this the cultural social restrictions interesting how it's a dome over kind of limiting them inside this space and their but some of the dots go beyond the space and the child 
energy is going up, up on that. So there's this uh, experience of mommy and daddy actually uh, rising above the social restrictions of black or red or gender. And inside this child, there's just a full emptiness. Uh, and that fullness is all of those amazing choices and possibilities. Um, and I feel, I feel this whole image has a great sense of possibility um, that there's going to be choice. Like parents can either rise above or they can stay inside because their feet are very firmly on the ground of control, protection, love. So there's this kind of um, intentionality of standing on this line. Uh, and child standing and there's yeah this sense of protection that we need groundedness here and there's a reason there's a purpose for that um wow it's just really wonderful to feel i i really feel you capture the, the all of the contrasting qualities and uh but in the end in the end as you wrote here love control protection is the is is the intentionality around these social restrictions, mm. um, you know, and, uh, but the child is the new generation and the child has the same color. It's interesting, the color red that is representing the restriction, it's also like the muscles, like I see biceps mm. that are heart in each of the arms of the child and the child has a backpack on it actually in my eye looks green <laughs> like maybe it's black i'm not sure but it's actually a color that's neither the red or the or the 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 black or the yeah that's the dark black but something different maybe it's a cape maybe it's a superhero cape yeah. that's on 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 their back as well but i i'm reading the heart as superpower for this child to choose their own heart. So, mm. Wow, awesome. Thank you, Cecile, it's amazing. Mm. Would you well, like to say anything? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you got it all. Um, I just put a color, a gray color here that you can't really see. Mm. And yes, there is this boundary, be, um, their hearts and, and their childhood is still there mm. yeah. it's like something that is in in their guts but the intellectual part is in the restriction and control and and social the minds their minds are are in the the social part mm. but in their guts there are still this part of childhood in them and and they are embarked i i can't I can say uh, they are influenced by that child to 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 have this moment, you know, these dots to remember to remember these parts of childhood and maybe the desire to get again in this beautiful world of possibilities of freedom of uh, letting go. Uh, what you want to do yeah thank you hey denise por favor chica <laughs> i like the words backpack bliss blues it seems to me like a, a song title the left side i see the blue or maybe the black backpack, the one that was designed for the boys and at the right side, the red one designed for the girls. And in the middle, there's the bliss with the lots of different colors that the choices, many colors, the, they're yellow and greens and light greens and purples and different blues and i love the the also the the, the sentence under it like a like a, it's a bubble it's like a bubble gum 
like when you make that bubble with your gum, please choose me. In the me, it's this red heart, pinkish red heart. This heart looks also like a, a woman's um, ovarian. I mean, it looks like an ovarian also. And there are all those little dots coming from the those red and blue backpacks that as they were the old ones, they were disintegrating. And there are the eyes. Uh, I feel that those are the, the society, conscience, I don't know, the eyes of the big brother, those that will judge your choices. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, thank you, Denise. That, yes. As I'm looking at it, I see two eyes, the red and the the red and the black backpack, but the mouth, mm -hmm. the voice of the child mm -hmm. says me. And you know, Rieko, I just I felt that in your heart and I feel it now, that longing to be seen, mm -hmm. the authentic me, you know, like I don't want to be anybody else and I don't want to have you know, those eyes looking at me telling me you should, but the freedom and the bliss of freedom of just having one's own sovereignty, having one's own sense that I am who I am and that is okay. And I love Denise, how you said there's a sense of like a child chewing a, a gum, you know, and it's like popping and it's playful and it's light and airy, but you know, Having lived in Japan, understanding that space in between the two is that like it is um, imagination. It's the creativity and the courage to choose something different. And that takes so much courage in Japanese culture. And yet that's the only way that we can be our individualized, you know, being. So uh yeah, I see like a brain in between these two eyes that's just full of possibility. And it all sinks down into the pink of the actual choice in the end. And wow, Rico, I, I am just, uh, wow, so, so honored by uh, your choice today. So oh, thank really, you. Really, really powerful. Thank you. And the yours is like a heart from me. It looks like to me, like a, that was the bottom of the, the glass. And me is on the bottom. From there, you can kind of, you know, create what you want out of it, kind of like coming out from there. Mm. And then uh, when I watched this uh, commercial, I was felt so grateful. Like next generation of kids actually have the choice, and they can at least aware of it. I didn't. I only have black and red, so I didn't know there was a choice. But at least they know it's there. They have to go through a little bit harder life because they know they're the choice. They know they picked it. So they kind of have to be responsible for it in a way. But I'm also grateful that they can. And I want to do everything to support them that, you know, whatever the choice make they make. And it doesn't have to be that choice have to be kept in the same way. They can change it whenever they want. But I want to be there to make sure they're picking it, not because somebody else is tell them to. That's the true definition of authenticity. Yeah, so, and we support you in that, absolutely. May that be so, yeah, yeah. And I'm telling that to myself too, you know? Yeah. I can yeah. choose and yeah. I can change too, it's okay. Mm. and then i'm so grateful you share this with me and i i could really see in your eye you got me and i got you too yeah <laughs> okay so now denise your turn and daya yes, right daya is going to um do we have a choice yes yeah. Um, first, what I noticed first was the bottom, um, and initially before, like, 
having any thought mentally. It looked like bamboo um, mm. grow, <laughs> starting to grow, um, which then I, of course, I realized all the past generations. Then I saw in the upper corner the eye with the tears. Um, yeah, for um, I felt or I feel all the ways that um, there's such a <clears throat> deep, deep restriction on our freedom and um, masked with, you know, manipulation and and all of that that's underlying and has has been i love the green um in there too just just um and all the color and all of the unity of the bigger white um being that would be the, the children of this generation and and the next um yeah will really forge the way forward yeah and and um i think the tear there's three tears i feel like one of the tears is is for how much courage it takes for them but you know before they ever came they, it was built into them to do it and they will do it and that's so beautiful to see and heartbreaking at the same time um yeah, that's what I see. Thank you, Daya. Thank you. you know, yes, the, the tears, um, they are seeds in the soil to make, to grow something new, to, to grow something, some, that's why I put the green, like something, a new natural vegetation, that's a new nat nature that is, um, emerging in this future generation. And the bamboos, in fact, they are the, the old society that is trying to push the, the children into that same pattern. But inside them, although they are so, so equal, they are they already have this possibility germinating inside them with the colors of the new backpacks and with all the choices they will have from now on i didn't have much time to do <laughs> because i was so so <laughs> involved with the discussion <laughs> but that's what um what i felt Thank you so much, Rieka, for sharing that. Yeah, thank you. Yes, gosh, this this space made that experience so much richer than I originally had when I just looked at the commercial. Mm -hmm. so, thank yeah, you. Thank it was awesome. Thank, thank you, Rieko. It was really great. Thank you, Rieko. It was thank wonderful. You. It was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good to see Bye. you all.